Hey guys. Oops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ruby wants to get on on to say, hey, Ruby. Ru. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joanne, I just want to say a uh, happy Thanksgiving to y'all, and y'all have a safe one. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we're outside. Man, it is beautiful out here. It's been cold and it already feels like it's like 65, gonna be 70 degrees. Hoorah! Hey, I'll take it. Be a lot nicer when that tree loses its leaves. Gonna have to make a change. Gonna have to make a change on something. And this is what this video is about. This has been doing great. It's been working awesome. Batteries, love it. Charger, love it. Everything's been great. And that inverter has been doing good too for what it is. It's uh, the 2000, uh, 4000 surge. <laughs> Only thing though, I'm going to have to change it. And reason why. Because, you know, I was trying, I need a sign uh, sine wave, pure sine wave inverter. Uh, you're taking a big risk on a lot of sensitive devices and equipment. And there's some things that a modified sine wave, which is the cheaper uh, inverters, they do great on certain items. But other things, you're really taking the chance of putting a strain and shortening life, like on computers, refrigerators, stuff like that. Um, and I was trying to save money, but you know, if you're going to make a system, you got to do it right. And I'm finding out more and more. I'm going to keep that as a backup, but the, the sad thing about it is that I had found a replacement, uh, a backup recently, brand new at a still of a price and I bought it. But... And I actually put it on uh, online to sell it. Now, if nobody takes it, then I plan on installing that into the camper this spring whenever we uh, start opening it back up. If somebody does take it, then it'll help to offset the cost of that. It's made by the same company, but that is a pure sine wave uh, inverter. And the difference between a sine wave and a modified sine wave, a pure sine wave has got smooth electrical load patterns. The modified, they're square. It's a square wave. It looks like building blocks. And sometimes you can have spikes, power spikes on those. And that's what causes a stress. That's what causes increase the resistance or spikes, uh, increases uh, temperature on certain components, uh, certain uh, um, uh, devices, certain um, computer systems and all. And you're just taking a big chance. I mean, back before when I was working, if a computer burned up or went out, I'd just go buy me a new computer. But when you're retired on fixed income, you can't do stuff like that. And I put a lot of money already into all this solar stuff that I've done. A little more than I intended to. But I've seen the potential that <clears throat> it could do. And that's why I invested like I had. But I've got to make a change. And i got to change out that inverter. And put in a pure sine wave inverter. That way it will match up. A pure sine wave matches up to the same kind of current flow. Like you're getting from the electric company. Versus a more erratic you know, charge you're getting from a modified sine wave. If you, if Hopefully you understand. Hopefully this helps anybody that could be making systems in the process right now like I've done
and before you have any issues with anything that you're going to start putting online on your uh, solar source um, hopefully you take my advice and buy you a they got all kinds of different makes the reason why I'm going to go with this because it's going to be the same size as that one and hopefully the same screw displacement I'll just be able to unscrew and, and put the other one right on um, they got different types but this is what I'm going to go with too I again online I lucked out and these were going a lot lot higher and I found it at a reduced price brand new so I'm looking forward to that coming and when that does I'll install it right now I've got everything back on uh, on grid power uh, on the on the power grid my computers TV and everything um, Joanne did say one day the uh, TV did have a little glitch and uh, we haven't seen that again but that really got me thinking and doing a lot more research and listening to a lot more people instead of just a small handful that was telling me what I wanted to hear I needed to hear what other people were telling me that I didn't need to hear and I'm going to take their advice over the other and I know deep down in my gut it's the right move uh, pure sine wave inverters are a little bit more expensive but it's but so are replacing uh, new computers too or new TVs and I don't want to do that but I want to have an alternative power source so this is what I'm going to have to do. This is going to be my last major purchase for all of this, unfortunately. But, like I say, I'm going to keep that for a backup. And if a SHTF situation happens, then, you know, then I'm going to have power uh, despite, you know. And, like I said, if the uh, one I've got that I'm selling, if it sells, great. If it don't sell, then... I've got a use for it too. Mocha's enjoying the sunshine and he's pouting because I haven't fed him yet this morning. But uh, when it's been really, really, really cold, um, he's been, the other night it was like, uh, what, 18 degrees? And he was in his doghouse. But the thing is, I've got a big shop light in there. <laughs> and it was like 70 degrees in this doghouse. He was laying on his back. He thought he was in Panama City. So he is staying warm for it, folks. I did have it hooked in to my AC home power. But instead now, I routed the cable. And I'm hooked in to the, uh, the power source there. And it's so far so good when it is plugged in. But yes, we're going to swap out the inverters. And once that's done, that will be permanent. And then everything will be loaded back onto the uh, solar power system. And I won't touch it no more. At least I'll have peace of mind knowing I've got a smooth flowing um, power wave and... I won't have to worry about uh, um, stress on certain devices and components. Uh, but those uh, inverters there, the modified, I mean, there are a lot of things that they can run very, very efficient. You know, uh, and then there's some things that they're not advised to run. And I'm listening to those people a little more now than I did so I'm gonna play it safe so hopefully this helps somebody out there and uh, like I said everything else I've done um, this system and even the new one that I put together for my radios the uh, four battery that's been doing great 
it's holding a very high charge so I'm slowly getting everything covered and uh, all my bases covered so I see that's going to work out great so my next project will be trying to fix something a little more secured I think that might be okay I might make some new some better kind of brackets I'm thinking I want to angle out like those and if I can find some brackets to come out on the side to screw down and then where I can angle that out a little bit I think that will be very very much more effective so y'all have a blessed day again Joanne I wish everybody a happy and safe Thanksgiving and and think of that out there our veterans they gave us the freedom and helped to uh, help us to have the freedom that we have to be able to do things like this holiday and others y'all have a blessed day loom retired we'll see you later bye bye